Development. Noonan police have arrested a man dressed in a clown costume trying to scare people. This is body camera video from an officer of the man. He is facing a disorderly conduct charge. Channel 2's Matt Johnson is live in Coweta County with why police say this is not funny. Matt? As bizarre as this incident is, police say they take a case like this seriously because you just don't know what people are capable of. In this case, women said that the guy in the costume actually harassed them inside the Walmart. And in one case, the woman said he harassed her inside her parked car, making it hard for her to even get out of the car. When Noonan police found this man in a clown costume at a Walmart on Bullsboro Drive, they say there was no time for jokes, only an arrest. This is body camera footage from Thursday at around midnight after a woman called 911 in tears to report a clown running around scaring women. Law enforcement is not taking this lightly. Noonan Police Chief Buster Meadows tells me his officers didn't take any chances, especially with reports of clowns trying to scare children across the country. Because in this climate, you have no idea what someone might be up to. Police say the man behind the mask is 25 year old Alabama resident Rodney Allen Byram. Meadows says Byram tried to explain himself on the way to jail. Well, the only comment I know of he said was, it's not illegal to scare people. Well, I think you need a little help. Walmart shoppers we talked to say they're glad police thought differently and charged him with misdemeanor disorderly conduct. That's Pretty crazy. scary, creepy. I didn't know that was going on around here. If I saw that guy, I would probably try to walk in the other direction. That's not nice. I'm glad he got caught. And if there's any more, I hope they caught. I hope they catch them. Chief Meadows says he has a simple message for any potential copycats. It may be funny if you're going to scare somebody, scare people you know. Don't go out scaring strangers. Police say that the suspect told them he had the costume because he's in town for the Coweta County Fair. He was out, on, out of jail on bond. In Coweta County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News. One of these clowns, uh, luck is going to run out when they scare the wrong person. Matt, thank you. More details on 